Good morning, everyone. Today we are in Tumar and it's our last day before two the weeks of lockdown. lockdown. So let's enjoy a lot today. Yeah. So we're starting our day in Convent Cristo, which is the most important mon monument in Tumar. It's a World Heritage Site since 1983 <laughs> and this monument includes the convent and the castle complex. So let's check it out. Let's go. The convent was founded by the Templar Knights in the 12th century and the construction took a lot of time since the 12th century until the 18th century. Wow. So due to that you can find different architectural styles all over the construction. You can find Renaissance, Gothic, Manuelin and Romanesque. So it's amazing if you come here you can have so much more information and right now we are on the main claustro and it's really impressive how they build this at that time and how they preserve it. I, I just keep being impressed by the monuments in Portugal. <laughs> This convent was founded by the Templar Knights. They built it until the end of the 12th century, but by the, the end of the 12th century, the construction was finished by the Grand Master Gualdin Paix. So this is the famous Manuelin window, built in the 16th century, and it's beautiful. It's So far we've visited a lot of convents and I can assure you that every single one can surprise you. <laughs> and they're also really different. You don't feel like they're, you're watching the same thing all over again. Yeah. It was very nice and interesting how the Templars lived, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. So the castle became a really important part of the defense system created by the Templars order. They built a castle here to secure the border of the young Christian kingdom against the Moors. Following the dissolution of the Templars order in the 14th century, most of the countries of Europe they were suppressed 
uh, for around two years but in Portugal the King Denis wanted them to be a part of a different order called Order of Christ with the same elements and the same objective and later in the 15th century the Knights of the Order of Christ supported Portugal in the maritime discoveries. Park Mochel, which is pretty nice, it's cute, it's not super big, but it is beautiful because you have the river passing by in the middle, the river Nabão, and it gives a lot of life to the city, it's pretty, I like this place. I love the sound of the water. This park is beautiful. Yeah, right? Yeah. But also if you are into bigger gardens, at least right next to the convent you have Mata Nacional do Chetmont. But for me it's better during spring where you can see the flowers. During the winter sometimes the gardens are not as colorful as they usually are. So it doesn't make it just as bridge Dom Manuel I and was also built by the Templar Knights. So we just arrived to the Igreja de Santa Maria dos Olivais and it's this church built in the 12th century by the Templar Knights and it was used as a pantheon for the Order's Masters. Well, it's not my favorite at the moment, but let's check inside. Maybe we are surprised by it. Usually I, we don't like to give you information about things that we can show you, but I think this one is really important and is that in Tumar, every four years, you have Festa dos Tabuleiros, which is the most important festivity in the city, and it's beautiful. Like, I can't explain it, you need to see it for your eyes. And the next one will be in 2023, and hopefully with this pandemic already behind our backs, it's a perfect time for you to come and visit this place, because it's no words for it. This that you see behind me is Pegões Aqueduct and was built at the end of the 16th century to bring water to the convent that we just showed you before. Wow, it's beautiful. It has a maximum height of 30 meters and for me it's one of the most beautiful that I've seen in Portugal so far. Yeah, although the one that we saw in Hovidus was great too. But this is more impressive with the two arches one in one on the top of the other one yeah i like this one better <laughs> <laughs> okay guys it's adventure time we're looking for a swing a famous swing that is called baloiço de alegre Alegre. And yes, we've come a long way just for a swing. You guys know that Maria is very passionate about swings. So here we are. Where are you bring me? Yes. There it is. And it's beautiful. This is the biggest swing I've ever been to and I'm so happy right now. The view is amazing and there's nobody here. It's all yours. Ours. <laughs> Not yours. Ours. <laughs> I think it's yours. And <laughs> <laughs> yours only. Yeah, this, is, this works so good. This yeah. was built this year, I think. Because they put here in May. Whee! Yeah, views are great though. Yes, this is a 25-year-old girlfriend that we're dealing with. Keeping you young! <laughs>
So, tell us, what are our next plans for the lockdown? For the lockdown. We thought about doing a recap of our adventure in Portugal so far. And maybe a QA. and a Do you guys have any doubts, any questions that you want to make us? Or do you rather if we do a live? Yeah. <sighs> life with you guys so this are our plans for the next two weeks but we need to find something else for sure because we'll be stuck at home for the next two weeks <sighs> this was fun <laughs> <laughs> yes it was well tomorrow is very cute beautiful yes. with the river and the bridges the convent was really cool it's very worth it yeah, it's impressive and you can learn a lot. It's a city with a lot of history, so if you go there, you can feel it and you can learn from the ones that know exactly what they've been through. So I think it's a place for you to visit for sure and enjoy and it's a perfect day trip. Well, we don't know when we're going to film again because of the lockdown, but we'll keep you posted on Instagram and well, on our next video. See you soon. And if you have any doubts about the places that we visit, you just need to check our caption because we, al we always put today's plan and there you can find every single place that we've been. So it's really easy to track it and see it on the map. <laughs>